quite regularly on this program is the World Economic Forum. Remember, they're the mob of autocrats who want to reinvent capitalism, to build back better, and who think you should own nothing and actually be happy. Well, you have to admire the chutzpah. They never let an opportunity to proselytise their socialistic agenda of global government go to waste. You see, they've morphed from green tyranny of the West to pandemic pushes of progressive politics. And I use the term progressive for alliteration purposes only. A more appropriate word is communist, given their agenda's striking similarity to Marx's communist manifesto, which we discussed here a couple of weeks ago. Anyway, the WEF is very influential, counting many politicians, international bureaucrats, billionaires and hardcore socialists amongst their advocates. It's probably just a coincidence that many of these groups were also involved in a, quote, live simulation exercise to prepare public and private leaders for pandemic response way back in October 2019. That, of course, was just months before the coronavirus pandemic was declared. And it involved all the usual suspects. The Gates Foundation, the World Bank, the United Nations, the CDC in America, John Hopkins University. All right, let me stop it right there, ladies and gentlemen, because he's referring to event 201. I've talked about this before. It was a global pandemic exercise, kind of like a military exercise, but it was world organizations, nonprofits, corporations, banks, them doing an exercise. <clears throat> What's so frightening about this is the fact that they actually did it, like he said, in the fall of 2019, just less than six months before this pandemic, plandemic. Point in being is the global reset. It's like create problem, problem, solution, psh, action, right? They create the problem, they've got the solution, here's the action. All right, now listen to the rest. University, the CIA, of course, and the Chinese Center for Disease Control. Oh, oh, I forgot to mention that. Yes, yes, yes. The head of the CDC in China was there, uh, and also the head of the CDC in America. I'm also going to post a link to Event 201. It'll be in the description of the comments. Uh, anyway, let's keep rolling here. Listen up. It also featured big pharma representatives and, oddly enough, a representative of NBC Media. Now, they're just some of the identities that were in attendance. Preciously, though, these, this mob of altruistic world savers went through a simulation called Event 201, which was about a fictional coronavirus pandemic. Here's what John Hopkins University had to say about it last year when questions arose. For the scenario, we modelled a fictional coronavirus pandemic, but we explicitly stated that it was not a prediction. Instead, the exercise served to highlight preparedness and response challenges that would likely arise in a very severe pandemic. Although our tabletop exercise included a mock novel coronavirus, the inputs we used for modelling the potential impact of that fictional virus are not similar to in COVID-2019. See, it's all just a coincidence. I mean, just because the players in the simulation are many of the same ones running the current agenda, there is absolutely nothing to see here. Move along. There is nothing to see. And just to prove it, even the link to the WF epidemic planning page is now dead. I told you, nothing to see. Anyway, managing the world has to be easier than managing your own website. So there is no cause for any of us to be concerned. Except about the next panic attack, of course. You see, the WEF seems so good at preparing for the future. It's wise to look at what they're doing now, because that might be coming down the pipe. Actually, the recent pipeline extortion in the USA is a good case in point. See, that was a relatively mild case of cyber terrorism. And coincidentally, of course, the WEF are conducting a new simulation, this time over a cyber attack that will shut down the world economy. Imagine how quickly society would disintegrate if water and electricity and fuel and other essentials were shut down due to a cyber attack. I mean, hoarding toilet paper wouldn't be enough anymore, would it? We'd have to have a new collective enemy to unite against, while, of course, demanding that government save us all. Once again, the WF is making the case that this is a global threat, which of course it is, and is a, quote, 
major obstacle in our path to progress. You see, there's that word again, progress, as in progressive, as in socialist. <laughs> Naturally, such a threat requires a global response, which the WF is prepared to lead. It seems, you see, that every problem identified by this mob and their allies in the international bureaucracy requires the global centralization of power and decision making. And this latest simulation neatly fits in with their Great Reset agenda. Now, only time will tell if their concerns over a cyber attack that shuts the world will prove as prescient as their pandemic simulation. If it does, I suspect it would open up a raft of questions as to just how contrived these weapons of mass hysteria may actually be. There's Klaus Schwab shaking the president of China's hand. Yep. And here, let me show y'all something real quick here. Yeah, hold up. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Unique window of opportunity. Nice all. Hold on. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> now, I know you Trumpers are going to say, Trump said he's not a globalist. Yeah, well, a lot of people say there are a lot of things. But guess what? Trump was double speaking, contradicting himself. He was speaking out of both sides of his mouth. So while one of his sides of his mouth was saying he's not a globalist and we are against globalists, it all happened on his watch. He went right along with New World Order, ladies and gentlemen. I promise you. Do your research. As time will tell, I know this is going to be a hard pill for people to swallow. But as time goes on, I promise you, you'll say, oh my God, Trump did sell us out. Wow. And with Biden, it's going to be even worse. <laughs> it's a, either way, we're screwed, no matter who our president is, unfortunately. Anyway, listen. You guys go ahead, like, and share this. I'm going to go ahead and post some other links to uh, stuff that Klaus Schwab has said directly from the World Economic Forum's website and their YouTube channel and Event 201, which was the global pandemic exercise with all the corporations and John Hopkins University, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, etc., etc. Like and share. Get it out there.